Welcome to another great episode of Beacons of Light. Joining me is Cherie Jaro, who is the store manager at Catholic Art and Gifts. Um, we met several years ago when uh, you called us about doing a wonderful effort for St. Vincent de Paul can drive for Thanksgiving. And uh, it was a big hit. Y'all did it for, you've done it for many years. Why did you pursue that? And why is it important for the community to get involved with serving the poor? We wanted to reach out and be a part of the community. And when our company asked us to participate, they asked us to decide who in the community would benefit. And my first choice, of course, was St. Vincent de Paul. And I was so thankful that you accepted that. And um, we've been thrilled to do it every year. It's a great event. I mean, y'all, it it's uh, y'all got, you always have a big crowd that comes out to support the effort. And, uh, you know, if you bring a donation of a canned good, you get a rosary, you right. know, y'all really do a great job promoting it. You get young volunteers. Uh, from the local schools to help out and collecting the items. And you even have St. Nick there. Yes, we've been fortunate to have um, a few different people throughout the years play St. Nicholas. And a friend of mine has the actual suit that's involved. So it involves a lot of people to, to get that little um, part taken care of for us. Yeah, it's uh, been and, fun. And it's a traditional Saint Nick. It's, it's not Santa. It's Saint Nick. It's yes, Saint Nick. He's definitely. dressed up like a bishop. Exactly. And uh, it's a great, uh, kids come in to take pictures. They do. And uh, I know that uh, having children, I have pictures of uh, my kids with Santa Claus, but my kids were a little bit too old to come sit on, <laughs> on St. <Saint> Nick's <laughs> yeah. lap now, but hey. it's something we'd encourage everyone to do because yeah. this is I mean, now an annual it. event. We've done it, right? That's right. Yes, <laughs> indeed. We, we got a picture that we're going to share with everybody <laughs> that shows us with St. Nick, exactly. and uh, it's just a great event, and I know that uh, people really look forward to it. And you're right, you get volunteers to play St. Nick, volunteers to collect the food, and uh, it's, and then you also have food and hors d'oeuvres and things we like do. that. We do, and we do it all ourselves. So again, we're involving everyone, the staff, uh -huh. our, our warehouse guy cooks, and our salesman cooks, so everybody's involved. We all really um, get behind it, so. Now, now, you know, we're all called to make a difference in the community. It makes a big difference in the community, raises public awareness. And I mean, you're not like a regular retail store. I mean, you're not selling textiles and whatever. You, it's all about Catholic arts and gifts and different things that people come in to buy to help their faith life. And I know, exactly. you know, I'm a customer and you know, I know that uh, for me, I, uh, I, I love the bracelets that you have, the faith bracelets, mm -hmm. you know, and I have everything uh, from the divine mercy to, uh, you know, miraculous metal on my arm here. I started with one, I said, oh, that, you know, every time I look at my watch, I'm seeing the good Lord, I'm seeing Mary and, <laughs> and the saints, St. Saint Michael and, and others. But there's so many things there in the store. And what does it mean to you when you see people that are living their faith, they're coming, they're buying good books so that they can grow spiritually? How does that impact your faith life? It, it has really been um, amazing for me and, and helped my faith life. Because not only are they just coming in to buy a book, but I mean, you have people coming in um, that have cancer and are looking for some type of comfort or something to get them through that hard time. You have people celebrating the baptism of children. You have people also funerals and they're wanting the crucifix to put with their loved one or the rosary. So all of those things are just, um, this play such a big part I mean, it's just not a retail store. You have to have compassion for all of these people coming in. We celebrate the last time they have their chemo, and we get a pick a help them pick a special gift for that as well. So it's just an amazing sort of place to work, it really is. Well, I, I know, and every time I've been in your store, I'm always running into either St. Vincent de Paul members, members mm -hmm. from my parish community, or other. 
uh, areas of the diocese that are coming in to, uh, you know, see, buy a book, mm -hmm. purchase items, exactly. whatever the case may be. Um, and it's all related to their faith lives. And, and, and I know uh, I'm a member of St. Aloysius Parish here locally, mm -hmm. and you are a member of St. Mary's Faith Community in New Rose, correct? I am, I am, across the river. And West side is the best side. <laughs> there, there you go. And, uh, uh, and, and you know, St. Mary's for y'all that have not been to that church, Wow, what a beautiful, a beautiful church. church. And you walk right out and you can see Falls River and it's just a, New Rose is a great community and St. Mary's is a great faith community, it is, isn't it? It is, it's a very old community and um, the par parishioners there go many generations and there's just um, a beautiful, beautiful place to be, yeah. And you grew up in New Rose. I did, grew up, went to the Catholic school there, my whole family did, um, so. Yeah, it's just a big part of our lives. Yes, indeed. And 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 right now, I know your your pastor is uh, interim pastor is Father mm -hmm. Michael Schatzel. Schatzley, he, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he's he's been there as the pastor and now has returned for a short duration. And right, and right. Uh, he's an amazing guy. Isn't it's he? been fun. It's been fun having him back. That's what he said when he left. Kids were graduating, and now they're married with children. So. It's been fun for um, him to come back as well, I think. So, yeah, it's great, great yeah. having him here. Well, well, you know, the Diocese of Baton Rouge is kind of spread out, so to speak, 12 civil parishes. So uh, communities like New Roads uh, that have such a powerful faith effort and community and parish, uh, also St. Augustine is there mm -hmm. as well. That's and right. and it, it's just, a, uh, you know, when you go to New Roads, uh, you can feel the Catholic uh, uh, feeling there and, and the faith is alive and well, wouldn't you say? I would say. My brother actually was a Catholic priest uh, for um, Baton Rouge, Father Maynard, Tippy Hurst, if anybody yeah. remembers Tippy. So yeah, so that, that faith runs very deep and of course a um, yeah. big part of our lives, my life. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So Father Tippy was your brother? Yes. Oh, I love Father Tippy. I yeah. knew him really well. Good. I miss him so very, yeah. very much. Yeah. And what an amazing person. He was always uh, really, uh, golly, what a what an amazing human being. I miss yes. him so, so very much. I know yeah. you must also. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. He was, uh, if you didn't <laughs> know Father Tippy, you just, uh, you've kind of been <laughs> robbed an opportunity. Because so when true. you talk about faith life, if you want to think of an example, you think of mm -hmm. Father Hurst, uh, Father Tippy, as uh, he went by, uh, he was just fantastic. I knew him in my early days, mm -hmm. being here in my 32nd year. You, you never forget somebody like yeah. Father Tippy. He was just uh, fantastic. <laughs> um, but you get the opportunity to uh, communicate with a lot of priests and clergy throughout the diocese, do. don't you? I do, I sure do, so it's been, um Again, just wonderful getting to know everyone, and you know, it's it is. It's just an amazing journey, you know. Well, every day is an amazing journey, and we're all called to grow in that spiritual faith journey. And when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, how to grow and how to make the poor and those we serve a vital part of our spiritual growth. For over 20 years, the St. Vincent de Paul Community Pharmacy has served our area. We provide prescription medicines for those who have nowhere to turn for this most basic health care need. Please, if you need your medicine or you know a family member that needs their medicine, contact us. Kay, how can they get in touch? 383-7450. Give us a call today and spread the word so that we can ensure no one goes without their prescription medication. Spiritual growth is so important to each and every one of us. And you know, things, rosaries and faith bracelets and all of the, the religious medals and various things are so important. I know in my life, but at Catholic Art and Gifts, you have a store full of all types 
of different things that help people grow in their faith lives. And so for Catholics that maybe don't frequent a Catholic store, sometimes they may have their eyes open to what you've got. You've got all kinds of things, things from Italy even, right? We do. We have a, a, um, our buyers go to Italy uh, at least once a year and they search out, you know, like you're saying, unique and different things. Most of the things we get from Italy are rosaries and our crucifix, wall crucifix. And um, that is special. A lot of people are um, wanting the Italian made items as opposed to made from other countries. So um, it is a, a good part of the, the business. So yeah. It's <clears throat> unique and, and I know that for me, when the first time I went into Catholic Arts and Gifts many years ago when y'all opened, it was, um, y'all had a lot of things for the clergy, and, and I, I was kind of surprised by that. Yeah, as part of the F.C. Ziegler Company, um, that brought in another aspect into the, to our Catholic Art and Gift inventory. Um, we actually manufacture chalices, mm -hmm. and um, so that's a part of the business that we do have um, on display there in the store. Mm -hmm. We also have the chasubles, of course, there are different mm -hmm. ones. Uh, everybody has their own taste, all the priests have their own taste, but um, we try to have um, different chasubles from, we have Belgium, Italy, mm -hmm. um, we have some things from Poland. Mm -hmm. So again, just trying to get a diverse um, amount of items in there for everybody's different taste and, and desires. So. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, we have um, we do have the altar bread, the wine, the candles for all the churches. We do distribute throughout the southern part of the United States. I know people come in the front and they think we have the Bibles and the rosaries, but the back half of the store is ten thousand square feet of warehouse that we deliver from, yeah. again throughout the southern part of the United States, from Tennessee into Texas. So yeah, it's it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful store with so much wonderful things that, you know, whether it's like right now, it's the year of St. Joseph, so you've got a lot of St. Joseph products. Year of St. Joseph, yes indeed. We try to uh, actually have a whole area for St. Joseph items that fly off the shelf at this point. Um, we have, of course, statues and pictures, but of course the consecration of St. Joseph, we just got a new shipment in yesterday. Can't keep those in stock at all. So it's it's been uh, interesting to see Man of the Year, Saint Joseph. <laughs> well, well, you know there are a lot of products out there. It's it's really neat to see something like uh, the Saint Joseph products flying off. I mean that again, these are all faith items. People are doing this as a uh, a way to live their faith, a way to, a way to help them to grow spiritually. And like I said, you're not just selling groceries or textiles or, it, they really mean something. And like you shared in the earlier segment, whether it be cancer or some other, something that's really hit somebody that makes them turn to their faith exactly. and say, I wanna grow. Exactly, and look at all the ways that are there for them. Books, rosaries, they can go to Mary, they can go to, St. Joseph, um, crucifix for the home, just anything that, um, you know, would appeal to a, a person's spiritual life. I mean, it doesn't just have to be a rosary. We have so many things um, for people to, to, to go to for their right. spiritual life. And you've got great children's uh, uh, items, uh, which, you know, whether it's First Communion or Confirmation. Yes. Um, you just got a bunch of we different do. things. Of course, that's what people think of us mostly for, the right. sacrament items. So of course, right now, First Communion's a huge thing. We're so glad to have First Communion back this year yeah. after last year kind of being on the down, yeah. <laughs> down low. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's so exciting to watch the kids come in and pick out their little things. It's just amazing, again, just seeing them just getting started in their faith life, so. It's, Ex yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, and, and you know, children, they, I guess that's why I have the faith braces, because I'm kind <laughs> of a child. I just talked to my wife. But anyway, uh, in all seriousness, um, 
you know, it, they, they really, they're very material. So whether they have a bracelet on, mm -hmm. a keychain, mm -hmm. or whatever it may be, exactly. a book that's important to them, a child's book, um, it, you know, for them, they're, they're more material than us adults may be sometimes. Mm -hmm. And so they, they kind of really connect those things, don't they? They do. They really do. And, and you do have a great kids section. We have a great kids section, baptism section is oh, amazing. Yes. It so, is an amazing yeah. section. And, and then um, gift cards for special occasions, mm -hmm. uh, all yes. of the First Communion, all of those things so you can kind of, you know, whether somebody's having a special birthday or a special anniversary, mm -hmm. y'all have products that really, they're faith products. They're right. not just Exactly. Which, you know, Don't forget ordinations. Those are coming right. up quick. So. That's exactly right. So we have the cards and, of course, um, a few items in there that the that the priest may uh, or the new priest may need. So yeah. It, 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 like I said, it's a it's a store full of uh, Catholic items that, in a very very true sense, uh, and beautiful items. Uh, and then. You know, we talked earlier about Thanksgiving, the can drive, but y'all are getting ready at that point for Advent season. And the, the, the Christmas season products are just amazing, aren't they? <laughs> they are. I mean, it, it's, uh, um, I, I, I bought a sign a few years ago about, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah, I mean, y'all got yeah, all kinds again. of stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. I mean, something for the yard, something for the home. Yeah. Just whatever you can think of, I believe we have. <laughs> yeah, and it must be eye-opening to you when these new products come it out. Is. Whether it's, it's the Christmas fun. season, the Easter season, it, it just uh, it must be eye-opening. It is. Huh? It's like Christmas every every week when we get our truck in. So. <laughs> <laughs> new new products, new things every to time. explore, yep. and new things to consider, and uh, I guess our our faith journeys. Um, and I, and I, the other thing I notice is when I do go to the store, when people walk in, it's, it's kind of like, y'all know everybody's name almost. It seems like I try real it, it's regular <laughs> kind of, huh, Cherie? I mean, y'all yes. do a great job well, with that. Well, you know, being, regular customers. being there as long as I have, yeah. I've seen people adopt children and those children are now grown. Yeah. Um, seen yeah. people, you know, again, have have their little families grow up and now the kids are coming in. I remember coming here when I picked out my first communion. So, yeah, I'm, you know, again, being there long enough, you get to know that everyone coming in. It's great. I it, love it. Yeah, it is great. And uh, I know for myself, when I walk into a home, sometimes it's easy to find out if they're Catholic or not, just based on the art and the various things in their homes. And when we come back, we'll continue our discussions with Cherie and talk about the importance of faith in our lives. My Bicycle Journey, a book that tells a story. It educates, it promotes, and it also provides some leadership. Take the time to purchase this book, and St. Vincent de Paul benefits from all of the proceeds of this book. Please, if you would, give St. Vincent de Paul a call and let me know what you think of My Bicycle Journey. We are all called to grow in our faith, and it is important that we surround ourselves with items of faith, things that remind us to grow spiritually every day. And Sherry Jaro of the Catholic Arts and Gifts are with me, and we're talking about all the many things that uh, Catholic Arts and Gifts have to offer, and talking a little bit about COVID earlier. And there was an impact, you know, the store had to close down for a short period of time, and but when you reopened, you had some people coming in for specific things because of COVID, right? We did. Um, it was interesting to see how many people were um, interested in setting up home altars, um, just putting out a family Bible, um, putting candles on either side of that, maybe putting a standing crucifix, 
we have incense and incense burners. So all of those things, um, just again, missing the, being in church and wanting to bring that into the home, um, we really saw a big uptick in that, those types of items being sold, so yeah. Well, again, that just goes to what we talked about earlier. Exactly. Those little things of surrounding ourselves, whether it's every second of the day, like these mm -hmm. faith bracelets or, or whatever the case it may be, um, surrounding ourselves with things that remind us of our faith. And uh, I know that for myself, you know, watching Mass on television and streaming, while it was nice, it was not going to Mass. And so getting back into the church was so important. But in the meantime, for those that either couldn't go back to church immediately because of the fear of COVID and, and health issues right. underlying that, being able to do that's kind of neat, isn't it? It was, it was. And again, just a, being a part of the community and trying to provide those items for people is what we're there for, yeah. is to help people grow in their faith and continue their faith. So. It, which is so important. And, right. And, you know, I, I think that, like, when young couples get married, you know, I know that, yes. uh, you know, years ago when my wife and I were, will celebrate our 29th anniversary soon, and, you know, we got a lot of different religious gifts. Those are important. They are very important. And it's, it's um, sort of interesting to know that in the last years um, we don't see enough of those items being purchased for weddings. Um, the crucifix, the Bibles, the rosaries, you know, so many brides put the rosaries in their bouquet. What a wonderful gift to, to give. I mean, don't ever um, think that that's not something that that couple needs. Again, you're, you're trying to foster their spiritual growth, and what better way to do that is to have those sacramentals in their home. Right, and those sacramentals are so very important because I know um, we were blessed with so many of them, and uh, to this day, uh, those items are still prominently displayed in our home. And um, and uh, after moving three times, that that means something, you know. It it's does. like don't break that, you know. It does. And and that, because you you just uh, it means something to you, and it puts you know when you can. The Lord is everywhere we go. You know, so true. Um, but it's great to see those I, the crucifix that reminds us exactly. constantly. Um, it's so very, very important. And again, I mean, some people have those memories from their childhood. Yes. Always having the guardian yeah. angel in their bedroom. So um, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. People right. enthroning their homes with the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So right. again, what what we kind of remember from childhood maybe can bring into other people's lives, like you're saying, in a, in a child's life as, as they get married and have their own families. Right, because there's nothing more important than keeping the Lord and uh, our faith lives right in front of us, and what a wonderful way of doing that. Now, the Lord really calls us not only to you know, keep Him, you know, keep Him our focus, but He also calls us to do so by serving others. And one thing that y'all have helped us year after year, now we're out of COVID, this Easter season you were back up, you, we collect Easter baskets and we need drop off points. And what a better place than Catholic Art and Gifts and y'all collected items. Was it kind of neat to see those items it's, come in? It's amazing. <laughs> the, um, it is amazing to see the baskets come in. When, yeah. when they stop and they say, hey, can we get some help? Because yeah. we have 20 <laughs> baskets. <laughs> Our, everybody just, well, it stops what you're doing. Yeah. Sorry, we can't wait on you. We have to get the Easter baskets in. Yeah, so, yeah, so um, yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun being a part of the community. I just, yeah. I just love to be able to, to help. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it makes Great. such a difference, you know. And it I, does. You know, I got. I didn't get to see all twenty five hundred plus baskets I we know. gave out. I think this we year. collected uh, uh, yeah. two thousand of them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I didn't get to see them all handed out, but I got to see a bunch of them handed out, and and it was fun, and it was it's just great. Uh, we, we've had people on the shows that help put them together, together. and just all mm -hmm. and help distribute them and. And, and collect them and you know I think it's just so important you it know because it's the little things that count and uh, that and that's why I wanted you on the show because yeah. whether it's food or Easter baskets or 
you know, what you're doing, you know, if we're going to highlight businesses, what kind of business we want to highlight, if certainly Catholic art and gifts, you know, where you can buy sacramentals, you can buy those things that kind of help take that next step in your faith life. And that's so yes, important. It is, and, it is. And, and also, I mean, I just want to say, I mean, we do want so much to be part of the community. So um, we've had ladies come do gift wrapping there at Christmas time for their, you know, we can't provide that service anymore. It got right. to be kind of a big thing for us. But, you know, if you have a little group that wants to come do anything that, please give me a call. Yeah. Um, because again, we want to be a place for people to gather right. or people to, you know, help people you know, collect things or do things for their organizations. And that's yeah. important because uh, we're all one family of God and together that's how we kind of make a difference. And, uh, you know, um, for me, I, I think that uh, any time I walk in there, I always buy something because there's always something that is missing in my life in some way that uh, I, I, I kind of can get a lot from, you know, because yeah. I think, and, and that's, you know, like those that set up altars or those that keep the sacramentals right in front of them, you know it's important to them, don't you? Oh my gosh, it is so important. And again, just um, helping to provide that for them. I mean, we're just there to, to help them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not there for anything else but to help provide that that for them in their lives. So, so uh, with about a minute to go uh, in the show, uh, what's your favorite season? Is it the Advent season, the Christmas season at the store? I know the Christmas season's got to be a lot of hours. It's, but 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 what's what's kind of your favorite time of the year? It the you know Christmas is so much fun. We enjoy yeah. putting up the all the nativity sets and yeah. the displays. But I have to say, the, the communion season, I just love the children. I uh, love yeah. watching the little kids come through yeah, and can, trying on their little veils and yeah. all of those things and just seeing the, the excitement, the excitement yeah. that they have. Well, I think, Sherry, Sherry, you and I would agree that that excitement that we have during our first communion is something that we need to carry on throughout our spiritual growth as Catholics. And that's our call at Beacons of Life, for people to live their faith by growing spiritually and also in that spiritual growth, serving God's poor. We encourage you to do that. Visit us at svdpbr.org to see how you can get involved in the ministry of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. We'll see you again next week on Beacons of Life.